All right, so the Neptune 4 Pro comes in this box. It's pretty good size, not too big. So let's go ahead and open it up. So we're packed with dark soft foam and we got everything nestled in here. So all of our accessories and parts are in here and then we got the gantry on this upper layer. So we get a power cord, looks like about four feet long, US type. The screen holder, that's magnetic. The spool holder, which comes in two pieces. The external parts cooling fan, which has four fans. Yeah, we have a little plug here and on and off switch. Very nice. And here we have a bag, which has a lot of stuff in there. So let's go ahead and pull out the gantry, which is the upper portion. And this looks quite familiar, the design, the materials. Now the big difference on the X rail here, we can see there's a metal rail linings for the all metal roller. So yeah, it's metal on metal, very high precision and should be much more durable. So that's a great upgrade. We do have dual Z axes, which are tethered on the top of this belt. So that's our first layer, very nice padding. Below that, we can see we have the base and also our screen here and our hot end assembly. So let's check this thing out as it comes separate now that we need to pre-install. It's kind of nice because we can take a closer look. And here we can see the back, which we have this junction board. This is where the main cord comes in. Our heat brake, dual parts cooling fans on the side here. The heat block insulated with the sock and the nozzle. On the top, we can see a gear there. And this is where our filament goes in with a release arm for the extruder. All right, so the front actually slides off. And here we can see a little better the whole motor. And that's for the extruder. Here we have a little fan underneath there that's the heat brake fan that sucks air here and then blows through the back out very interesting and yeah very nice design the extruder is all inside there so if we look underneath we also have an led light there so yeah very nicely built and engineered and constructed we also have the leveling probe here so yeah very cool and definitely a well-built part so here we have the screen. It's still the same with pretty large bezels, but I guess the only thing I wish is they would downscale it a bit so it's easier to hold and pick up. But other than that, these are great. And Elgo has been using these on the Neptune printers for a bit. And on the very bottom, we have the base, which is also quite familiar and looks great. And we do have the flexible PEI sheet, which is awesome. So let's move this out of the way. And that looks like everything for the box. And we're gonna bring the base back in and I'm gonna lay it down upside down so we can see here what's underneath. So we have the power supply over here and then on this side we have a cover where all of our electronics are. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off so we can see what's inside. And before we do that, let's take a closer look at what's in this bag. So we get a USB cable and this is to connect the printer to a computer. We also get an ethernet cable if you want to use the lane options or the networking. So you can control the printer from a browser or you can hardwire it straight to your router. We get some snippers. And these are really nice, especially for cutting filament on an angle. A little spatula, this could be useful to get underneath the nozzle. A tiny coil of PLA filament, way too small to be useful, but it is included. Some zip ties to organize wiring. We got our filament detector that we'll need to install. A clean out needle, and this could be helpful to unclog a nozzle. A pretty hefty bag of bolts, hardware, things like that. And we're gonna use this to assemble the printer. We get some tools like Allen wrenches, Phillips, flat screwdriver, and an open-ended wrench. And the last two here is a thumb drive with an extra PTF tubing liner, looks like, and some nozzles. And this thumb drive is gonna have like your manual and things like that in there. And here we also have, looks like a little gift or giveaway with micro USB adapter to USB with card in there. So yeah, we got quite a few things here. Let's go ahead and grab our Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna take off five bolts here on top. And actually guys, they're little screws. All right, so this should just pop off. And there we go. We can go ahead and unplug the fan, which you guys can see is quite large. And this cools off the area underneath where the main board is. All right, so let's take a closer look here. So this is the Neptune's new board, which is running on Clipper. So we got heat sinks on the stepper drivers. They are non-removable and integrated. There's another large heat sink here. Here it looks like we have some kind of EMMC, which is memory or storage. Everything is hot glued, all the connectors. We got power coming in here from the power supply and everything going out in different directions. Here's our lane input from the side, which is the ethernet plug. And then all of our USB connections are here, slash the screen and the microphone. SD card. Yeah, overall quite nice and well built. 